<laughs> well, we had fun with some treasure over on the turf and now we're going to create our very own buried treasure in the kitchen with this fun craft activity that also uses a little bit of science. We're going to start by creating a bicarb dough. So that's going to be your job, Sabrina. Pour the water into this bicarb in the bowl and we're going to start stirring as well. Uh, like how does it make dough? How, how does it make dough? A really good question. So the bicarb doesn't react with the water. It just kind of makes almost like a glue. And when we... When we like flour and Yeah, flour. see that? So it's kind of instead of using flour as the starch, we're using the bicarb. Now, this is all about fun. Once we've got the dough going, we're going to hide some treasure inside. So it's going to be uh, something that you can do with your friends and surprise them when it comes to the big reveal. That looks like it's ready to go. What mm -hmm. do you think? Yeah. Okay, now I'd like you to divide that up into the two bowls. In fact, there you are. Okay. Rachel, do you want to divide that up into the two bowls? <laughs> <laughs> That's looking good. Just don't worry about the spoon. We've got gloves on. We can get in there with our hands. Much better than the spoon. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> nice. There you go. Lovely. Okay, now what colour? What are you thinking, Sabrina? Do you want to be yellow blue. or blue? Blue. A fine choice. So, we've got half and half, and I'd like you to pop two drops of colouring in each one. Looking good. Two drops. Mm-hmm. You really don't need much food colouring to make this happen. One and two. Lovely. And now I'd like you to combine it like a dough. Terrific work. Using those hands. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some rocks. I love that colour. We're going to make some rocks out of it and pop a little bit of treasure in each one. You can pick the treasure pieces. Which way are you leaning, Rachel? I like purple. Purple. A oh, fine good. choice, madame. What Your about you, Sabrina? Jewelry. I still like the blue. The blue. Good. So what we're going to do is hide a piece of treasure in each little rock. We can make probably about three rocks out of each. Mm -hmm. Great. Right. Sabrina's going to hide her glove in there as well. Very good, <laughs> Very good thinking. <laughs> okay. So do you need a new glove, Sabrina? Oh, I should be fine. Okay, great. So Sabrina, I reckon that's ready to start making into rock. Mm -hmm. So grab a little bit and pop the treasure in the middle. Lovely. Almost like little fossils. Terrific. And now we're going to roll it in a little in bit it. of glitter. Yeah. Uh, need a bit more, Check this out. Yeah. The glitter will help dry it out a little bit and make it much easier whoop, for us to take it out. There we go. Oh, they look like meteorites or something. <laughs> they do. Yeah, something you might find in the Tropic of Sagittarius, perhaps. Oh. <laughs> it's not a thing. All right. So when you're at the beach checking out the jellyfish, do you have a look for a bit of buried treasure? X marks the spot, Rachel. Oh, I was in Malaysia and on an island, and my aunt, she um, organised a... A treasure hunt for us. Ah, oh, what do you mean a treasure hunt? Like she put clues around the place. Cool. In, That's <laughs> super fun. In the monkey's house. I love there it. There was a monkey there and then we found stuff. It was fun. Yes. Okay, now when you are done, I'm going to show you a nifty trick to get these gloves off. You ready? Wah! Done. Oh. How did you give it a go? It's magic. I've got a nifty trick as well, girls. <laughs> <laughs> nice and easy. Straight off. <laughs> All right, gloves off. It's time for us to see what happens, how we uncover this treasure. Okay, thank you. Great. Oops. Lovely. And that so the like glitter, aside from looking very festive, um, also helps dry it out? Yes, it well. does, but you do want to leave it for about 24 hours before you start playing with it. So these ones we prepared earlier, yesterday, and now it's ready to play. Oh my gosh, it's on my yeah. Try, try blowing on the inside of it. Like, no, thanks. <laughs> no thanks. Okay, let's pop all of this away and check out this main event here. The, Mr. Gnome's already been checking it out. Loves it. Okay, so we are going to now create a little bit of a reveal. I'd like you to dip that rock there into this bowl. What do you think that is? Vinegar. Vinegar. You can smell that, can't you? Yeah, yeah big like time. what smells? <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. What? That's cool. Fizz. Is that magic, Alice? That is definitely not magic. That is a chemical reaction between the bicarb and the vinegar. So what you can see happening there is the base, which is the bicarb, is being neutralised by the vinegar, which is the acid, and it's bubbling away. That's the carbon dioxide. And it's like disappearing. To disappear, exactly. And all that's left is water and salt. And hopefully some treasure. Exactly. And some glitter. And some glitter! 
Check it out. Let's see what, what it looks like on the other side. Isn't this fun? This is exactly how you make bath bombs as well. You get that fizz. Check it out. The, the treasure is oh, coming out. It needs a bit more water, I yeah. think. Oh, vinegar, sorry. Vinegar. Keep it going. Yeah. Now, Rachel, you can get in on the action too. Why don't you spray that one here? Okay. Yes. No, it's more, yes. Now we've got spraying. some vinegar in that spray bottle. So see how the reaction's happening very differently because you're getting the force, the pressure of the spray nozzle. Right. It actually is happening faster than if you just dip it straight in the bowl. Oh my goodness. Is this fun? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Only if we get to keep the treasure, Alice, you otherwise no. Definitely get to keep the treasure. That's the best part about doing this sort of stuff at home. You get to make it and then keep it. Love it. Now we've got one more way. Got a little watering can. And so, water them. What do you think, Sabrina? Let's see if the treasures come out. Not yet. Almost. Almost. Oh, it's getting really soggy. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, oh wow, we're gone. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a volcanic eruption on our on our island, our deserted island. Wow. Ah. And of course the baking soda is an alkaline, so it's reacting with the um, acids such as vinegar. Exactly. Releasing the carbon dioxide, the bubbles. Just green on my hands. Lovely. I can't think. Now, let's use a spoon oh. to get... Oh. <laughs> oh, check it out. There we go. We've got a little ancient coin. Nice. Like, with what looks like a little centaur on it. A little Sagittarius. Now, it's time to set up some acid rain. Uh, Sabrina, do you want to pour that over? Now, this is one more way. Yes! <laughs> Amazing. Now there's vinegar in that one, not water, so we're not watering the plants. We are creating another reaction. How cool is that? Is it good? Is it oh, slow it down. It's about to overflow. Let's make it overflow. Oh, that's all This out. is definitely lots of fun to do, but you can see things get messy, so make sure to ask a grown-up. But get your friends around and make your very own buried treasure. We're going to keep going with this one. We'll see you right after the break. Stop! <laughs> nice. Look okay. how cool that is. Crunch time.